Hi guys, the QA Ninja here back with another episode inspired by a video from PMP Tutorials. Today I'll be comparing the specs, pros, and cons of the Atomic Pi and the Raspberry Pi 3B Plus. Be sure to hit the like button and subscribe as I'll be bringing more fun content in the future. At the end of the video, I hope you have an idea as to which pie best suits you. The Atomic Pi is a fairly new entry to the SBC market and is a rarer board that can't seem to stay on the shelves. It's shaking up the scene with its specs. Take for example the Intel quad core and internal memory. When it first launched it was a mere 35 bucks. Now on Amazon it's selling for around low 40s. If you can get your hands on one, I would definitely recommend it. And of course, here are the specs for our, our beloved Raspberry Pi 3, 3B Plus that is. It's probably most popular, supported in the SPC market. Boasts nice features for its small frame, including a quad USB port stock right out of the box, auxiliary and HDMI jack, and a bevy of features that includes hundreds of front end images. This SPC is probably best known for its retro pie support. So here are the advantages of the Atomic Pi. I mean, it's obviously got more power than the Raspberry Pi by specs. It's a low price point in the low 40s for what you get. It's got great onboard storage and it emulates higher end games like Killer Instinct and N64 pretty well. Um, and it's more versatile in terms of what you plan on using it for. It's a great, great SPC. And in terms of what you get for the Raspberry Pi, here's the advantages you get here. You got a lot of ready-made RetroPie images, including Raspbian. Check out Arcade Punks for some really great images for the Raspberry Pi. Also check out my boy Rival Boss, who has an awesome channel that supports a lot of images for the Raspberry Pi. Um, it's easier to use out of the box. It's really good for newbies uh, who are fresh in on the um, SBC scene. Emulates a lot of um, early arcade games, tons of online support and tutorials, especially uh, by great channels like ETA Prime, highly recommended. And of course, you get protective case covers for this um, as well. So I would say the disadvantages from one to the other, as I've said before, so you may know by now, unless you are tech savvy with hardware and wires, but powering the Atomic Pi can be challenging straight out of the box. You know, I would recommend a small breakout board sold on Amazon. Links below for that and what I did to uh, power it. Also, there are no protective covers as of right now. As we know, the Atomic Pi is new to the market, so that's something that may eventually come up. Unless you have a 3D printer, it can be challenging to protect it with otherwise. Um, also, the Raspberry Pi in terms of disadvantages, um, the performance is definitely a bit weaker than the Atomic Pi in comparison. If you're using it for any emulation, you know, anything up to PS1, then you're fine. But plus the fact that you have to have all storage on the external like SD card or USB, that can be a deal breaker for some. So needing external storage, you know, is something you need to take into account for the RPi3. In terms of my personal choice, although the Raspberry Pi is a mainstay in the mini SBC market, my personal fave is definitely the Atomic Pi, but I want to know what you think. In the comments below, which Pi would best suit you and your needs? Let me know. Also, if you haven't, check out my latest episode on uh, how do I power the Atomic Pi. Link will be below on there. Thanks for watching.